just because I'm that sort of nerd. Um, but welcome to our May meeting. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, we're your hosts here today. Uh, we welcome all questions. Um, I want to start off uh, today just with a little note. Um, uh, this just went out on a blog uh, about an hour, hour and a half ago. Uh, some ongoing work uh, with the marketplace. I uh, just wanted to make you aware of that in case you didn't know. Um, they're doing some infrastructure work on Marketplace, and uh, one of the biggest things that we're concerned about, we want to make sure that everyone knows, is that as part of that work, if you have things currently that are just um, sitting in your uh, uh, your cart um, and haven't been purchased, uh, everything on a wish list is fine, but if it's just, yeah, sitting in your cart, those are actually being cleared out uh, as a byproduct of this work. So if you have anything sitting in there, go ahead and... Uh, you know, either purchase it or move it to a wish list or your favorites list um, so it does not get lost because we don't want you to lose that uh, if possible. But uh, you can read the blog entry I posted into the chat. Um, that'll give us, uh, that'll give you a little bit more information on it. We also have an update on SLB20. The event will open June 22nd, which is right around the corner. And it's going to be running through July 11th, which is going to be a hefty time to get in there and get your party on. Full 20 days of music, shopping, and community fun. Cannot wait. This year's birthday theme is our fantastic future. The cornerstone, really, SLB50. <laughs> This year's birthday theme is our fantastic future. The cornerstone of this idea is what we would define as eco-futurism, including sustainability, focus on our environment, and the next generation of our world. So, some might call it science fiction, but, uh, you know, what is science fiction with a little bit of a dream? You, you can hope for a better future, right? Second life, we build worlds and our worlds our way, right? What I call Second Life the ultimate sandbox. Build what you want according to how you want it. So for SLB20, we invite you to show up and show us your world of the future. For the first time also, both the Shop and Hop and the Community Celebration will include adult regions along with the usual moderate ones. So merchant volunteer, exhibitor, and performer applications are closed because we are fast approaching the uh, go time. Um, so I would recommend visit our blog community, secondlife.com for more information about SLB 20 as we release it. And I'll add, cause I typed it in there. Um, but I'll add here as well. Um, the, Applications uh, for uh, exhibitors and so forth are closed at this point. They're being sorted through uh, by a team right now. Uh, we got quite a lot of them, um, so it's taking a little bit more time than usual, but they should be out here pretty soon. Any other questions or anything about SL20B that's uh, on your mind, please feel free to jump on in. We'll be happy to help. Hey. 
<laughs> Good question, Felix. Should be at least a few margaritas. In the adult regions. <laughs> and here, here, dark over. It's been a long, long ride, hasn't it? I'm not sure about any performance improvements. I mean, we definitely do look at uh, performance on a regular basis here. Um, so maybe not anything overt that we would put out on the blog, but um, we're constantly doing uh, configuration updates. So I, I would say the stability would probably be a little bit better this year just because of the regular maintenance and tweaks that we do on a normal basis. It feels funny to follow up talking about an event theme to the future uh, by now talking about Victorians. Um, but uh, we have recently opened a, a new community area uh, among the Victorian Linden Homes in Belisaria uh, called Marymount. Uh, much like some of the other community areas like Camp Wish Forest or Muhlenbach, um, this kind of serves as a a community get together, have fun area that's uh, with that's themed to the Linden Homes in question, um, and Marymount is uh, it's kind of envisioned as a Victorian fun fair of sorts. Uh, has Victorian era games and pastimes around. There's rides. There's some penny farthing bicycles you can ride, and uh, even a very large uh, Victorian era arboretum that you can explore. Um, it's really, I, I'm really impressed with the large building. Um, it's actually based on a real world location. And as an aside, it looks great in a PBR viewer. Um, so if you have played with that, uh, feel free to take a look. Um, and also, um, as well as the Victorian um, area, um, also we're rolling out the open plan Victorian homes. Uh, so you can pre preview those um, actually on Belisaria Demo Region, which if you haven't checked that out, I recommend taking an eyeball to that too. Um, and also if you do have a Victorian, uh, there might be some new goodies in the uh, Belisarian content pack. So feel free to check those out as well. Any other questions on that or on anything else we've discussed or anything you brought to the meeting you want to bring up, please feel free to jump on in. And where the heck is Adam? How dare he? Where is, what you guys do with Izzy? Yeah, oh, he's actually in a, he's in a meeting <laughs> um, elsewhere, unfortunately. Yeah. So he won't be able to be with us today. Uh, that's inexcusable if he's not here. Yep. I'm thinking 10 years dungeon. I, I think that uh, we can go with that. And yes, Hall o'clock, we're always looking to expand um, on Linden Homes when we can. Um, you know, we've been adding pretty regularly uh, and in all themes. So hopefully there will be some more Victorians there as well. Any news on upcoming releases of um, Linden Homes? Um, yes, I can tell you. Oh, wait, I seem to have logged off. I'm sorry. No. Um, there's there's, there's um, not a lot that we can share at this point, but I would keep an eye on the blog because um, there will probably be some stuff coming up. But I can't say much more than that because I, w I would probably make some people about me very mad. <laughs> yeah, we, obviously we can't say anything that's not already resident-facing. But in the past, we've kind of used big events 
to also share big news. Indeed. Maybe Great we don't follow that there. same template this year, but um, it's always a good time, especially when everyone's getting together to you know announce cool stuff. So even if it's not Linden Homes, I would tune in to see what's new. Okay, just for Dark Over, um, we will likely eventually be releasing some additional Linden Homes in some themes in the not-too-distant future. <laughs> New homes are on the horizon. There we go. Heard it here first. <laughs> In the future. Yeah, quote unquote soon. <laughs> I think last year we had the uh, uh, patch got on um, Lab Gab, right? To commemorate the uh, SLB-19? Yeah, I believe so. And uh, also the, the Meet the Lindens at the, uh, mm -hmm. at the event. So we do have some new last names moving around along that came out for May. Mermaid, Marrow, Seafarer, and Fishtail. So if any of those tickle your fancy. Last names are around for a limited time. And some haven't returned, others possibly have. Uh, but when you see a name that you are interested, I definitely say grab it because you don't know if or when that name is going to come back around again because we have a massive list of suggestions that we go through. And um, I'll go ahead and put it here in case you have a name that you'd like to see that hasn't been put out yet. When will the June names come out? They should uh, probably be coming out, what, uh, in advance of uh, SL20B, perhaps? Hard to say. Sorry for cutting you off there, Vix. No, 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 it's okay. I was thinking of getting answered, other than saying June. <laughs> yeah, the June names will probably be out in June. There's a good chance. Very helpful of me. Well, yes, but there's, what, 30 days in June? Yeah, I would expect, I mean, I, I don't have a, a specific on that, but I would suspect in advance of SL20B. That's just judging from what we've done previously. Yeah, the most we can do is speculate because we don't have the uh, concrete news out yet. Um, but SL20B, uh, those events are usually, they pull a lot of news in and around it because of the gatherings. So that's an excellent time to to uh, make announcements and, um, you know, release new, uh, I don't want to say features, but release new um, parts of existing features, such as last names, such as Linden Homes, things like that. I'd love to see a two or three letter last name. That would be great. I'm kind of partial to a last name Dio. Oh, that also would be a nice one, one Felix. Switching gears a little bit and going into uh, more of uh, viewer performance and less news, uh, as many of you probably have known that uh, we are experiencing some technical difficulties with uh, friends list uh, displaying in world, uh, properly in as expected behavior. Um, we wanted to pass along a note uh, for anyone who is experiencing you know, the inconsistencies of the friends list displaying 
um, or not displaying. Um, if you normally log into a region that has you know a pretty steady uh, resident count, uh, maybe it's a popular destination, um, maybe it's a region that is uh, you know, full of tenants, um, try logging into a quiet region um, because we have seen some instances of the display name um, working properly there and then teleporting into your preferred destination. It's not a, a, a fix, it's more of a temporary workaround while the developers uh, continue their work on a more permanent fix. Any questions so far on what we've covered? Have they got the 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 the, the dashboard site uh, fixed? Uh, which part of the dashboard? We're still talking uh, about the friends list. No, the five hundred four error that you can't get into dashboard. Is yeah, we did have fixed? a problem with that over the weekend. Oh. It should be fixed now. Yeah, um, if it isn't, let us know. Okay. Yeah, we did experience uh, uh, latency problems on the server side. Um, but yeah, that should be resolved. If you're still experiencing residual effect, uh, reach out to us uh, through your uh, your available support channel. Okay. Uh, it happened on Second Life. There you go, Wendy. Thank you. Secondlife.com, which is kind of the root for a lot of other avenues, such as linen purchases, um, you know, opening up your profile. Basically, everything starts with Secondlife.com. How can I get a new region? Oh, can you guys um, mirror a region? Give me a new region. You, mean you want to purchase a new region? No, I, I own four already, but this mm -hmm. region is fixed. And there's still no known fix for it, and I I can't pick shit up because I'll lose it all. What's the issue? Yeah, definitely reach out to us and support. Yeah. It's the um, same issue. I cannot sit down on anything on the ground level at one corner of my sim. Oh, I, I'm familiar with that. Um, it's still, say, the problem is still there. It's not uh, we fixed. can fix that. It is fixable. I'll, I'll tell you that much. That is definitely fixable. It takes some investigative work to find out which item is causing that. But the uh, first step would be to... Uh, it's any item. Perfect. Any item. You can't yeah. sit. Uh, it, sorry. Um, that will happen um, to any item. It's usually what we found is there is a, something that resed out in which the permissions is triggering an error which will either cause you or everyone in an area or the whole area uh, to not be able to sit on items. So we do have a process in place um, to resolve that. But yeah, first step, uh, submit a ticket. Let us know the location and um, any kind of uh, scope that you can uh, provide, like it happens to me or it happens to everyone in this area. And we can definitely take it from there. It's just the one corner I done set to. It's probably a, a parceled off corner, right? No, no, the sim's not parceled off. That's um, okay. That's um, fine. It's an ongoing problem, and we've done everything. I'm just, I just think we have exhausted everything, and you know, I'm putting up with it. But I'm just wondering, the next step: can we just mirror my sim, put a, a new sim out, and fix it? Voila. Uh, it's possible that it'll copy over the same issue. So yeah. Especially See, if it's an item that is on, as, as Wendy typed out, if it's an item that's resed out, um, <laughs> even if we did mirror it, which we, we probably wouldn't in this case because we know how to fix it, but uh, any kind of duplication would just duplicate the issue. So, But we do have a way to root it out and resolve it. Guys, Vex, when you get done here, go root the problem out and tell me what it is. Because <laughs> I was going um, to well, have it. It creates the headache now to me. Place. Yeah, it is. It's a major headache. It's, it's an ongoing ticket. It's an ongoing. It's 
that the tickets hasn't been closed. That's what I'm saying. They say they're still looking into it. They're still looking into it. The same message. If I go in there right now, I'll say the same thing. Interesting. Okay. Well, since you have a ticket in place, you want to go ahead and uh, just direct message me the ticket number, and I can take a look when we're done here. Okay. I have to find it. Give me a chance okay. to go. Let's see. Um, dashboard. I'm going in there now. Come on. Help. Uh. Oh, actually, I do have a, a, a question. I'm not sure if this is the right place to raise it, though. But, um, sure. What you got? There's a lot of, um, oh, what do you call them, bots that are getting rezzed and filling up all the oceans in Sea of Fables. And, you know, those are like... Um, homesteads not not regions so they don't hold that many and there's um like 11 12 alts in each of the regions uh and see a fable some days and and like you can't do things like boat or fly and stuff like that and i was just wondering um if there's anything that can be done i mean it's it's one thing to have a few alts uh, or, or a few bots somewhere but they're they're filling up the whole you know the whole area Just abuse report, but that's the, the, that's really not possible because there's a million alts uh, or, or a million bots, so you can't abuse report each one of them. Right. So you probably just want to mention the area and what you see generally happening. You can target one, but I would say in the summary, I'm seeing this happen. You know, X number of bots um, hanging out for this long that is preventing you know access to the area. Yeah, exactly what Governance Force said. Okay. Yeah, just provide the scope of what's happening. So you don't have to um, have a burden of reporting each name. Okay, fine. All right. Frustration. Yeah, they're... Um, I forgot that... I forgot... There's some game they belong to. I forgot which one it is. Tiny like, Empires... Yeah. And, you know, it's one thing to have a few bots here or there, but, I mean, they're filling up the whole ocean and along Sea of Fables, making it unusable. Actually, actually, some people, uh, I, I, on behalf of me being playing Tiny Empires since 2007, I'll be honest with you, actually, some of them are not robots. They're actually humans. And they choose not to answer their IMs. They show up in groups usually of 11. Um, Cause I have six, I have 66 on my sim and they're all human. They don't talk and it's not generating traffic for that reason. Now, there are some that do use bots to generate traffic, but in this case, some of them are actual... The one that really uses the most is... Uh, the bots is uh, oh, Song of Dragons. They got the filthy names that nobody cares about changing them. Uh, I don't know who can take care of that, but all their bots or their people are filthy, like... Uh, F words or C words or V words. These 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 aren't bad. Be, uh, just so easy. many of them. Yeah. We have done that, but nobody takes care of. Uh... Yeah, the yeah. feeling we get too, because we've been reporting them, is that um, they're getting lost in the crowd of of abuse reports or something and not getting dealt with. Yeah, I've got 10 on Hilbert that are robots. Right? Because they're not on my side of the fence. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay. 
Yeah, maybe we should make it so that um, bots aren't allowed on home on public homesteads, just on public uh, full regions. Yeah, although we can, um, you know, help facilitate the abuse reporting process. This is not the uh, the forum where we can okay. delve into Sorry a little about bit more. That. Oh no, no worries at all. We uh, the most that we can uh, recommend is the abuse report. What happens after that, though, is is under governance review. And we had uh, another topic uh, that we wanted to bring up. Yeah, let me jump into it if you don't mind. Sure, go for um, it. As, you, as a lot of you already know, you've been here regularly or keep up on the news, um, that work is continuing on the physically based rendering project, the PBR, GLTF PBR materials project, which is going to bring a pretty major update to both lighting and materials in Second Life. Uh, we do have a, a new video that just came out uh, a couple days ago um, via the Second Life University channel. Uh, it shows a lot about how to create PBR materials, as well as a bit on how to use them in your home. Um, and I also want to add that uh, if you want to play with those materials today, um, you can see them on the main grid if you if you use the viewer. Uh, and if you want to actually play with them in your builds or anything like that, uh, you can do that on the beta grid. Um, to do that, you'll want to go to... Uh, Get the project GLTF PBR viewer uh, from the URL uh, here for you. Yeah, download it off of there. Then you want to log into the beta grid. Uh, you can then create new, uh, the new materials. Uh, you can see them uh, on the region's materials one, materials adult, and rumpus room, as well as rumpus room two, three, and four. And if you have never logged into the beta grid before, um, go ahead and uh, file a support ticket or contact us in live chat. We'll be happy to copy your account over uh, to the degree, to the Aduti beta grid as soon as we can. That's a great question, son. I don't have an answer. However, um, if you uh, mind being a little patient, I can see about... Uh, raising it uh, with a portion of the development team I uh, regularly meet with and we look at the latest uh, PBR viewer and talk about any new bugs that are coming up during the iteration processes. So um, if you'd like, I can go ahead. I'll take a screenshot of the question in your name and uh, follow up with you, see if I can get an answer. Either way. I don't have a lot on that key. I know that it is in process. Um, so there should be something coming pretty soon um, in, as far as uh, viewer land to uh, show that. Um, that would still, again, be on the beta grid at this point. That's a good question, Holocook. I know that... Uh, we are looking at the uh, yeah. yeah we are looking at the the minimum specs and what's going to be done with that um, hopefully it won't be a major effect and there will be ways to turn it down uh, mm -hmm. in the graphic settings or or disable portions of it for lower end computers um, and I'm not sure at this point what lower end stands for in this case out of my domain unfortunately. Yeah, we haven't gotten to um, releasing any of the specs yet because it's still a, a work in progress. Um, but I'll probably also be prepared for just a little bit more push for your machine. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're pushing the envelope on this one, trying to, um, to really change it up and um, make the experience that much more better. Um, so I would probably just, um, you know, hold off until you see the official specs. But um, yeah, know that you know it might push you a little bit. If you have an older machine, I don't know how much older you're talking about. Um, old machines nowadays could be two years old. <laughs> uh, we were talking about something that maybe 15 or 20 years out, uh, you know, running uh, Windows XP might push it a little harder. Well, they came out with the 13th generation now, 158 strand.
Oh, I, I have a question. I was wondering, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but now that um, Facebook's meta project or their metaverse is, is kind of um, gone, does that affect uh, motivation to get new features out faster for, for Second Life? No, not at all. Yeah, uh, we have our own plans, our own roadmap. It's separate from anything they want to do with their non-legged avatars. Um, you know, uh, we still have um, a lot of stuff that we're working very hard on, and we haven't slowed down on it at all. Not only the PBR materials, but also working on things like mobile. Um, you know, we, we're doing our thing. They can do or do not. They can follow our lead or they can, you know, stay in the dust. Not that I have any strong opinions here, mind you. No, I didn't gather that. <laughs> she, and yes, I do actually have some strong opinions on on Meta, but I'll be nice. And they took a swing. They threw a lot of money. It didn't work. Yeah. I mean, we did offer them, you know, tips on, on Twitter. I don't think they took us up on that offer. I think that tweet will just go down in infamy. <laughs> yes, and they're, they're, they're lovely Paris... Uh, image but I'm paraphrasing but we replied uh, how far account need help need tips <laughs> like you've been doing this for a while yeah it was great I loved it certainly fun to spar Any other questions? And yes, hi, Adam. Saw you come in, sneak in there. Hey, there he is. We're going to have to call the whole thing off. Sassy, the only the only workaround I know on that is to uh, is to relog into the region uh, with the person that has the mod rights. It's really a frustrating thing. Um, I have to deal with that one myself. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah, very much so. What kind of tools would you like to see, Hannah? I'm curious. Uh, also, I'll go ahead and send you the uh, the uh, feature request link um, because it does come up a lot here. Um, we get um, inundated with so many cool ideas. We want to make sure that the uh, the right team can take a look at them. But I'm curious what kind of tools, if you had any uh, opinions on them, would make uh, uh, in-world building much more um, fun or efficient or creative.
I agree, Nadoka. Uh, what kind of issues are you experiencing, Teresa? Or is anything inconsistent happening? I, I haven't heard any anything about changing our, our voice provider from the uh, It's There's lots of times where you're in a region talking to someone and all of a sudden voice goes out for 10, 15 minutes. Um, or you TP somewhere and suddenly your voice doesn't work and you have to re-log to get it to work again, stuff like that. Yeah, please, if you see that, uh, do let us know. It does. Um, it's so an we can I agree with uh, Teresa on that. You can go, I'll TP, say, I'll leave here, I'll go back home, and my voice cuts completely out. I have to re-log. I get it back. Or if you go to another region, it's, it does the same thing continuously. It hasn't stopped. You have to log out, come back in so you can hear. Not to jump in another one, but uh, gorgeous. Um, there is no, yeah, we have a 30 day grace period, but as far as your land, um, I would say that's almost a case by case basis. It's also dependent upon uh, how many regions you own, how quickly the balance is accruing, and if you're making any payments against the balance. Um, as long as we can see the balance decreasing, I mean, the last thing we want to do is, uh, you know, uh, touch the regions. Uh, we definitely want to keep those up. Um, and we'll be happy to work with you. We're, we're always willing to, to work with residents to uh, make sure their, their lands are uh, kept safe. So um, it, it's really dependent upon, you know, uh, your situation and um, uh, how many regions are billing and things like that. What about the inventory issues? Like missing inventory? Uh, yes. Or like in just in general? Well, okay. For instance, if you have 113,000 objects, right? And you know they're there. And you come back into SL and there's like 48, you go to another sim to get them back, blah, blah, blah. But when you know for a fact you've been in SL 15 years, you should have over 500,000 objects in your inventory. They're not there. How can you get those old inventories back? If you know that they're there in your inventory, uh, what I would recommend is splitting it into smaller folders because once you have several hundred items in a single folder, uh, it will truncate. Um, it will not all load at one time simply because there's so much there that's streaming down to your computer. Uh, and that's going to be based on everything from our end down to your router. Um, so really you want to make sure to split things into smaller folders. Um, that'll help everything load up. Um, you know, don't just have like objects folder with everything, but really start making, you know, indoor items or well, whatever. Here's a prime example. I bought an outfit the other day, okay? Now I go into, I pull up my inventory. I type in the name of the, the article. It's not there. But I go into the received items. It's not there. Then I back, I go back a couple hours or a day. It's still not there. That, that forces me, I have to rebuy it. Where would it go? Does that make sense? Hopefully it's just a loading issue is when you mentioned them. Um, if it's part of a, a larger string of items that's all trying to load at the same time, uh, it might be having trouble. Uh, there's a few uh, edge cases, um, uh, you can't really allude to it, where it might be something on the back end uh, that is uh, clogging up where, you know, you are absolutely certain, for example, you have 120,000 items uh, but suddenly 25,000 in a certain area are no longer loading. And even if you went to a quiet region, right, um, even if uh, you had everything properly subfoldered, um, those instances, you know, don't uh, hesitate to reach out to support. 
You have a few processes we can run. Uh, Wendy mentioned creating subfolders. We have a process that can actually uh, split your larger folders into small ones for you. Um, it's kind of an, uh, a rudimentary way uh, that doesn't take an effect in an account like certain items being um, lumped in together. It will just kind of split everything into folders that, you know, say, you know, my inventory one, my inventory two. Uh, it's kind of a, um, uh, it's not the best way. It's more of a, a surgical way to um, either prevent or resolve issues. So I would say take a proactive approach to creating subfolders um, on your own. That way you have a better sense of where things are. And you, you have the, also the ability to label it right then and there so you know where things are. But um, I would say if you're still having trouble, reach out to us. We'll see what we can do. Although we can't promise any missing inventory will be recovered, uh, we'll do everything in our power to help them. Pantera, you never know where, where uh, Magellan will show up next. It's called a, a split large process. Um, you know, we, we send out a, a lengthy email getting your consent and explaining uh, where everything will look beforehand. Um, we try to, you know, we just don't want to do it, especially with large inventories and you maybe have an idea of where things are. So we want you're okay before we do it. Help you, Sassy? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'd say, you know, Garen, yeah, send in your idea. Be it large or small, um, however outrageous, um, send it in. The most that we can do is take a look and see if it's something uh, that we can action on. It doesn't even have to be an in-world feature. Maybe it's a... Uh, a uh, user experience tweak part of the uh, dashboard. Maybe you, you don't like uh, how the menu operations um, are looking. It could be anything, any part of the Second Life experience. You know, a feature that would really, really help me, I have so many textures in my inventory and I, I can't figure out what what's duplicates and what's not unless I do a search by UUID and there's just too many of them to do that. If there was some sort of um, show show all with the same UUID feature in inventory, uh, that would really, really help me. Dead silence. I guess it wasn't a very interesting topic for anyone else. <laughs> oh, no, it's a good idea. Oh, no, I actually, actually opened up, up my information. inventory to see what kind of available search parameters we had. Yeah. There is some work actually going on um, that has been announced a while back on um, uh, what's called a visual inventory and being able to actually uh, preview items in it. And I don't know for sure exactly if that's going to texture UUIDs like that or how that's going to work, but... That is something, yeah, optional. That is something that is in process. So you may be in luck yet. I sure hope so. <laughs> like I said, I think I could cut my inventory by 40% if I could just get rid of duplicate textures.
We're just, I would say our marketing team is constantly looking for new and innovative ways to um, um, basically you know, boost Second Life. Um, earlier, I provided the steps on how to file the JIRA. Um, the first thing you'll see is a, a feature request topic that will guide you through the process. And it's very simple once you log in. Um, but I would send that in. Um, it's you know, concise, simple, and um, I'm sure a lot of uh, residents could possibly benefit from it. So that's something that um, uh, could definitely you know, be at least uh, put in front of the review team. I think that's been the process for a while, Holocluck. I don't recall um, deleting something and not moving the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Your trash bin can grow. I, I enjoy the trash bin. It's, a, it's definitely a fail-safe in case you deleted something by accident. Uh, I'm not sure. Do you mean um, deleting Second Life accounts that have a Gmail address? I see. Um, we have various statuses um, for that. Um, if, for example, you something happens, you log out of Second Life, you know, come back for a good period. Um, and it goes by a case-by-case -case basis, obviously. But I would say reach out to us, and um, if we can locate the account, we can see if it is eligible to be reactivated. Yeah, I know we aren't doing anything like... Uh Oh, Twitter's been uh, recycling names and so forth. That's nothing that we're doing uh, with any accounts. Um, I know there are processes with, like, the GDPR and so forth uh, as far as account material, but um, we don't go through and do that. Uh, we actually did um, do some account purging back in 2009, and I don't I think that like... went very well. So we really don't, we really don't want to do that. We can avoid it. That goes back to it depends on how the in what manner the account was closed, if it is eligible. Um, yeah, um, we don't do regular purges. However, yeah, it would depend on the manner yeah, the exactly. account was closed. Send, uh, there might be a few caveats depending upon um, how long the account was in, in a deactivated status. Um, while we definitely work to reactivate accounts, uh, we can't guarantee you know the inventory will be exactly how it was at that point uh, because the system is constantly going through various iterations. Um, so while we can work to get you back in the account, um, you know, we couldn't say that you know it might it would look exactly how it did when you logged off.
could also take into consideration uh, your friends list, for example, or landmarks, possibly. We've got about uh, five minutes or so left, so if you have any other questions or comments, now's a great time to get at him. Of course you can. Oh, look, look, as I understand it, there are plans in the works for some changes on that. Um, it will probably wait until after PBR, like you, like you suspected. Uh, but I'm not sure what status is on that. That's too bad, gorgeous. Send, um, yes, um, Jiris can be updated to reflect any uh, potential progress made. Uh, it depends on what the jury is in regards to, uh, and if it was, you know, for example, accepted, triaged, uh, things of that nature, maybe it was released. Uh, yeah, we have various stages. Uh, what it won't give, though, is probably an ETA.
Uh, Sen, you might be interested in our release notes where we um, uh, refer to all of the features and bug fixes that have been completed. We also reference the um, the JIRAs uh, that were uh, completed in those. So you get a, a full list of uh, uh, things that were wrapped up and released. Well, that's our time, everyone. Appreciate everyone coming out today. Yes, thanks everyone for coming today. We'll see you next month. Same bad time. Looks like that will be July 28th. Sounds about right. Fourth Sunday or fourth, excuse me, fourth Wednesday at noon. Take care, all. Have a great day. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.